Hey everyone and welcome to Beauty News with Wendy. This is the weekly show where I share with you the latest news in the world of beauty. Let's get started. A hair tool that curls, straightens, and creates those effortless looking finger curl waves without even a twist of your wrist? That just sounds too good to be true. But Jacinda Smith, a stylist and owner of Lux Salon, did just that. The Time Iron is the newest all-in-one tool that can curl and straighten with a very unique technology. So I saw this just the other day. It popped up, I think it was on my Facebook, and it just popped up of a girl just curling her hair and she was pulling this iron straight down just like this and it created the perfect beachy, effortless looking wave that we all want. And I literally went, what in the world? And I looked it up. So this new curling iron, or just iron we'll call it, is called the Time Iron, time spelled with the Y instead of the I. And this is just, it just seems too good to be true. And what's different is that, you know, a normal curling iron clamps like this, like an alligator's jaw. This one kind of swivels and slides out like this and you slide your hair in. If you're curling your hair on the right side, you just close it and you literally just slide it down and on the left side to curl it away from your face. I, yes, I did watch the video. You go over your head like you would with a curling iron you close it and then you just slide down. It is super, super impressive. And here are a couple of facts about the iron. There's only one temperature setting and it's set at 400 degrees, which to me seems really, really high, but it is made with gold plate titanium. So I don't know if that's gonna help, I don't know, stabilize the temperature or what. It just, to me, 400 degrees sounds really, really high and not everybody's hair can take 400 degrees. There's obviously a unique swivel opening that we talked about just a second ago versus the cl traditional clamping. And this doesn't require you to twist the iron. If you watch the videos, and I'll list the link down below in the info box. You just glide it down your hair. This product is priced at a hefty $190, which now that I'm thinking about it, it's just about as much as a chi iron, so I guess it's not as horrible. Unfortunately for everyone else in the world, this product is only available in the US. Now I don't know if I am going to be running out and buying this because for me to just drop $190 on a brand new product that just came out that nobody knew about that just mysteriously appeared on my Facebook page seems a little weird, but I've been looking into it for a couple of days now We'll see how I feel when Christmas comes around and I'll test it. <laughs> beauty mogul Michelle Fan has launched Epsi Open Studios, where beauty bloggers and creators can have access to production and editing equipment along with studio space free of charge. In a recent interview, Michelle says, much of Epsi's growth and success can be attributed to our amazing content and the talented creators we've partnered with. Just a few years ago, I was an inspiring artist myself so I know firsthand the challenges facing beauty content creators today. I think the Epsi opening, Open Studio is a fantastic idea, especially for beauty bloggers such as myself, who obviously films at home with limited equipment, limited technology, no one to hold my hand through, you know, and if there's someone like Michelle or her team to guide me through it, I feel like I would learn so much more and the product would be at a better quality. The one thing that I did read on the website is that it's 100% free of charge. There's no commitment. You would still have 100% control over your channel and your revenues. No strings attached is what they said. And that, anytime anybody says no strings attached, kind of worries me a little bit. I'm like, well, how much, how much control am I gonna have over how my video is shot? Because the channel is gonna be mine, but is it still gonna be my style? So this is brand new. I literally found this news today and I think they released the press release yesterday from what, is, uh, what, from what it seems like. So this is literally brand new, but I think this is such a great concept. Michelle has obviously built an incredible empire for herself and I love that she's paying it forward with what, you know, she's able to use and She's going to help out the other beauty bloggers that struggle with, you know, not having the right equipment, not having the right space. It looks like Epsi Open Studio will be located in Santa Monica, California. A viral video of a girl who dyed her hair purple and shows it off to her boyfriend 
who notices that in different lighting, her hair changes to pink, to blue, and back to purple. Is this real or just a hoax? This is like the dress. Do you guys remember the dress that changed? When I remember when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, white and gold. And literally an hour later, I glanced back at the same photo and it was black and blue. And I was like, what? And I showed it to my husband. He was like, oh, it's, it's, it's white and gold. And then literally he blinked and it was not even a minute. And he was like, wait, it just changed. And I was like, what? So I looked at the video and I swear to you guys, I looked at it over and over and over. I don't think it's a hoax. I think she dyed her hair purple and in different lighting as she moved through the house when she goes into warmer lighting versus a cooler lighting like fluorescent versus, you know, a warmer light bulb, it just changes from pink to almost a violet blue back to purple. I think it is totally amazing and if I were to able to dye my hair and have it change colors as I move throughout the day, it would be great. Okay, so this is a new section I would like to call shop or drop. I found a couple of new products, new beauty products, and we're gonna discuss a little bit whether or not I would shop it or drop it. First thing on the list is the new Maybelline Colossus Chaotic Mascara. That's a mouthful, Colossus Chaotic. Say that 10 times fast. So the Maybelline website states, our big volume formula and teaser brush plumps and disorganizes lashes for perfectly sexy mess. Let's just think about that for a second. Plump and disorganizes into a sexy mess. I feel like they're not talking about your eyelashes. I feel like they're talking about your hair because sexy mess, like beachy waves or something like that, makes sense to me. It's effortless, it's cute, you know, it's California style. For your lashes though, I don't know. It. I feel like this is like the, the second or third time they've tried to do, not Maybelline, but beauty trends that this has happened. The clumpy spider lashes. And now this is just my opinion. You absolutely do not have to agree with me, but I think clumpy spidery leg looking lashes are not cute. Not cute. I wouldn't do it. I remember seeing in the store, I saw the mascara and the brush looks like a caterpillar, a yellow caterpillar on a wand. And it just looks really weird. And I get they want to tease it for the volume because Maybelline, their mascara is all about volume and that's great, but not if it's going to go clumpy and I can't even, I wouldn't even know. I walked right past it. I remember I looked at it for a second and I didn't even, it didn't even pull me. I'm such a mascara junkie and I buy a lot of mascara. This did not call my name at all. So this in my book, it is a drop. All right, next we have the new Maybelline BB Dream Bronze. This is the third formula in the Maybelline Dream BB line. And this formula is supposed to give your skin an overall sun-kissed look. Now, I do own the Maybelline BB Pure with salicylic acid, but I don't know about a bronzy look because I have, I own very few bronzers and I only use it to contour. I certainly don't put it all over my face like this BB cream, you know, is intended for. So I don't really see myself rushing to want to get this immediately because I don't know if I wanted to look, and I especially, I fear that it would make just my face look tanned and it would look really weird unless I apply it all the way down my neck, which I really don't do not even with foundation. I blend it up to right, right about here, right below the jaw, like right by the jawline, and I make sure it's blended and that's it. So this is a very, very hard thing for me to want to, to, to buy, even though I do love the collection. If I do happen to get it, uh, I think I would strictly use it for contouring around the nose and around, you know, your cheekbones. So I am going to reluctantly drop on this product. Okay, you guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to tune in next week for more beauty news. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and share. Also, I would like to start taking your questions, so please feel free to send them to me via Twitter at Wendy Lee Zaney with hashtag Beauty News with Wendy. See you next time.